What's up guys? Today we're going to be installing four of these ICM 325A controls. This is a head pressure control. What a head pressure control does is it regulates your head pressure when you want to run air conditioning in lower ambient outside temperatures. So most head pressure controls will either turn the fan all the way off or run it all the way on and your head pressure is constantly doing this up down up down and not only that you are constantly bringing your condenser fan on and every time the fan starts it's pulling lock rotor amperage and you're shortening the life of that condenser motor what this control does is it actually regulates the speed of the condenser motor. So instead of having it on and off, on and off, it's going to run at a lower speed, keeping your head pressure more stable. Instead of going up and down, it's gonna keep it just like this. So that's the idea behind this. It's, uh, they make it pretty easy to install. They have an app, it's called the ICM Omni app. We're gonna download that app because this control uses NFC technology, that's near field communication. So we're gonna make all our adjustments and everything right from the app. And if we hold our phone near the device, it loads it all right into the device right from our phone. So this should be a nice little video. I'll show you guys how to install this thing, how to set it up. Let's get going. All right, here is the icon for the app that you need. It's the ICM Omni app. The icon looks the same whether you're on Apple or Android. So you're gonna to wanna to download that app, the ICM Omni app. You can't access it from the regular ICM app, but that's the one. So after you download the app, this is what you have here. You have, um, let me back up a little bit here, show you. So this is your main screen here, either program device or read device. Um, we're going to start with read device, even though you, uh, it will program it from this function also. Um, so you, yeah, basically you're just going to hold it over top of your device here and press scan. Um, and then it will pick it up. And once it picks it up, you'll get that little check mark there and, uh, the device will be read. So then at that point, you're going to have these options here, whether it be, uh, temperature, you can change that between temperature and pressure. And then you have your set point here. It comes defaulted at 100 degrees. So we're gonna keep that at 100 degrees. And then the hard start. That's the one where you need to adjust whether you have a sleeve bearing or a ball bearing. Um, it says down here, you want, to, you want to set a higher value for a sleeve bearing or a lower value for a ball bearing. So make sure you figure out which motor you have so you can set that parameter up properly um yeah it, it, it explains all that uh before you make any settings so then yeah uh, right here after you make all your changes you're going to hold it over top of the device again hit program and it's set once you get that check mark you're good to go and we don't have to do anything else to this device programming wise now if you wanted to make any additional um, changes you can do that and then bam, it just does it really instantly. And you can do it with it already mounted and installed too, guys. Um, if you wanna come back later, if you want to you know, raise the head pressure, lower the head pressure, you can do all that right from the phone later on if you'd like to. So, uh, so yeah, yeah, we're just gonna um, look over some more of this stuff here. Like I said, uh, probe type, uh, set point, hard start, and then minimum, um, minimum voltage it goes down to 25 percent um which is good like i said it comes default to 25 percent so is what it is but i've already kind of pre-wired this outside of the unit so i can show you guys we are running a heat pump operation here so if you're running a heat pump operation you need a little jumper pin that it comes with that hp orv you want to put that little jumper in there and now working our way down on this side the P, the T1, P1, and then the plus 5V is where you want your condenser temperature probe to go. 
Um, you need that uh, there. And then working down the next step, the HPRV, your 24 volt reversing valve wires will go there. I'm wiring right, mine right to O and common. So if I have a call on O and common, it will uh, let the device know it is in air conditioning mode. If that is not there, it knows it's in heating mode and the fan is to run at full speed. Now, coming down this other side, we have motor two. Motor two is going to go directly to your fan relay on your defrost board. Now, line two is going to go to your contactor right there. T2 on the contactor just showed it. And then according to the directions are line one, motor one, that's going to go to your common side of your capacitor. So make sure you have all that mapped out before you uh, do stuff because, you know, you don't want to play a guessing game later trying to figure out what goes where. But, uh, yeah, guys, uh, pretty pretty easy setup here. Um, it, with a heat pump application, you just want to make sure you take those couple extra steps to get it set up properly. And um, here it is installed. I have it mounted here. Um, and yeah, um, we're going to make sure we have everything landed where it goes. Cause like I said here, line one, motor one goes to the common side of our capacitor. Pretty easy enough. I made all these wires up myself also. Um, like I said, um, the, uh, that other wire goes to T2 on your contactor. T2 is the top of your contactor. And, um, and yeah, the final one goes to our relay on our defrost board right there. So basically, we are regulating the speed of our condenser fan before we send it to the, the defrost relay. And then, um, and then, yeah, so now all we have to do is mount our uh, condenser temperature probe in the condenser. There's two ways you can do that. You can either strap it to one of the U-bends on the piping, or you can insert it in the condenser fence. Both ways are acceptable. Yeah, As I show here, the sensor, I mounted it, I inserted it right into my condenser fins there. Um, I don't have a whole lot of U-bend there, so I figured I would just put it there. As long as you keep it in the upper third of your condenser, you're fine. So make sure you keep it in the upper portion of your condenser, and um, and yeah, you're good there. That's if you if you mount it on the U-bend or you insert it in the condenser, keep it in the upper third. So I'm just going over the set points right here again. I made the determination I'm going to raise my minimum uh, voltage output to 30%. So I'm going to go over here just to show you that I can do this right from while it's mounted and installed. And we're going to hit program and bam, it's that easy. I mean, it loads pretty quick. As long as you get your phone lined up with that device properly, it loads it pretty quick, guys. So uh, we're about to turn this thing on. We're going to turn it on in heating mode because it's very cold today. And um, if everything is wired correctly, then the condenser fan should come on at full speed in heating operation. You never need to adjust the the outdoor condenser motor in heating mode because when you have a heat pump, it's reversed. Basically, we're working on the evaporator out here when it's in heating mode. So yeah, we have our heat pump on and our fan is running at full speed. One thing I wanted to note, um, Back a minute ago, I showed I, I did have these sensor wires in the wrong spot. That was my fault. One needs to go on T1, P1. The other one needs to go on plus 5V. I accidentally had the other one on T2, P2. That was wrong. I'm just showing right here that it is in the correct spot. And uh, our green light is lit up, is indicating that it is running at full speed. So Again, we want full speed operation when we're in heating mode. Uh, we've just switched it over to air conditioning mode, so the condensing unit will regulate its head pressure now. The, the device is in 
Right now, uh, the compressor's running, we're building head pressure, and the fan will eventually come on. A day like today, it's really cold. This condenser fan's hardly going to run at all. It's doing, uh, it's doing its hardest to build up to 100 degrees, but it eventually does, and it brings the condenser fan on. All right, guys, I am happy to be back inside back warm back dry it's uh, it's been snowing all day here in salisbury um a steady snow but it really is no accumulation i mean we've probably maybe got an inch or two but uh it's weird yeah it was it's been snowing pretty steady all day but no accumulation so because <laughs> it's too warm but it's supposed to get really cold tonight but um the icm 325a we put four of those in today and uh the first one i did was simple and each one I did after that got even easier because they are a super easy device to install. I really like the NFC technology, the near field communication. Um, you put all your parameters in, hold your phone over it, bam, it's locked in there. Then you can just take and install it and, um, and, and be done with it. The parameters it comes set up with are pretty close. Um, I would say the only thing you really have to adjust is for whether you have a sleeve bearing or a ball bearing motor. Um, that hard start portion, you want to adjust um, the seconds of start time by if you have a sleeve or, or a ball bearing. So um, yeah, it's a great device, guys. Um, so if you want to buy one, it's about 150 bucks on supplyhouse.com. Um, I've seen them raised between 150 and 175 bucks. So they're they're basically 150 bucks. I'll link it down in the description if you guys want to get one. Um, but yeah, uh, so I have a few more products by ICM too. I'm gonna to be trying to find places to put them. Some of them are kind of kind of specific control boards, but. Um, but yeah, ICM sent me some more stuff here, so I'm going to try to use it in the coming videos um, and, uh, and yeah, show you guys what they have to offer. But all right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. So uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're new here. I'm going to have some more product reviews, tool reviews, stuff like that coming up. So all right, guys, have a good weekend. I'll catch you on the next one.